Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and a few people have asked now how I make my buttons uh, a little cartoony and stuff like that so I'm really going to quickly show you you know, how to accomplish something like this um, in Adobe Illustrator and it's fairly simple um, so let's start with the shape tool and we're going to go with a circle shape and now I'm going to hold down my Alt Shift button and I'm going to make a circle. And the reason why I hold Alt Shift is because it'll keep it as a perfect circle. And I'm going to create the size I want. Something like that. And now down here on the left hand side you'll see the white and the black outline. I'm going to select the outline and then remove it by hitting the box with the red symbol there. Because I don't want an outline on it right now. And uh, so now we have just the white circle. And I'm going to go ahead and create some kind of yellow so I'm going to open it up. I'm going to find a color I like. Uh, something similar to what I already have. I want a little more yellow than that. There we go. So now I have my yellow circle. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to create the black outline. So a lot of people will use stroke, um, but that interferes with the inside of this and I don't like that. So I select this. I'm going to press Command C and then Command F. And if I drag this, you'll see it created an exact copy uh, on top. And now I'm going to turn this one black. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stroke of this one and I'm also going to make it black. And then I'm going to press Command and the uh, square bracket button, which will bring it to the back. Um, you can also do this. You can also go um, Object, Arrange, uh, send backwards and that'll send it to behind the image so as you can see my little black um, outline on the back there so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go to stroke and I'm just gonna stroke it a few more times to about there and that's about nine points maybe eight's good um, and then we're going to go object flatten transparency and then we're gonna choose 100% and click OK. And that'll take the stroke away so it's a solid vector shape. Now the next thing we need to do is we're going to create this little effect right here. Um, so we're going to take our pen tool and I'm going to zoom in here by pressing command plus sign. And I'm going to drag my pen to a spot of the path of the yellow and I'm going to click and drag up to give myself a handle and then I'm going to go, go somewhere over here create some kind of circle effect and then I'm going to come up here click on the path again and drag up that's something I like there and now to get rid of this handle here I'm going to click again on the point of the middle there and that will get rid of the handle and then I'm just going to use my pen and I'm going to go around this and I'm going to kind of create the edge of the circle now I don't like that so I'm going to go ahead and do it again Oop. I just want it to be touching the edge there we go and if you want to adjust your handles, simply select your your arrow tool, grab a handle, and just drag it to where you want them to be. That should be good. Now we're going to take that, and I'm going to use the eyedropper and select this yellow here. And now as you see, it's the same color. And then go into the color and choose a darker version. And click OK. So now we have that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create these little circle effects up here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose our circle tool. And instead of holding the uh, Alt Shift this time, we're just going to create, you know, some kind of oval shape. And I'm going to choose white. And I'm going to choose transparency. And I'm going to drop the transparency down to about 46%. 
And then I'm going to create another smaller one here, just underneath it. And I'm going to do the same thing, about 46%, 48. Now I'm going to use my arrow tool, and I'm going to select both of these by holding the shift and then selecting each one. And then I'm going to rotate it a little bit and drag it over just to kind of get the effect I'm going for there. So now we have our circle and um, we need to create our inside stuff and so I'll just show you one of them this time um, I'm gonna go ahead and create a square tool and I'm gonna hold my shift button and create a square and I'm gonna turn this black for now and I'm gonna take the second arrow tool which is the uh, direct selection tool and I'm gonna draw a square around one of the corners and hit delete so it gives me some kind of a triangle there. Then I'm going to choose the top uh, arrow and I'm going to hold down the shift and I'm going to rotate this so it's pointing in that direction. Then I'm going to go ahead again and create the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a, a square or rectangle just to give me the look of an arrow. Now I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to use the um, the tools at the top, the vertical alignment, and just to make sure that they're perfectly aligned. And then I'm going to go Window and choose Pathfinder, which will bring up this dialog box. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit Merge, and that'll merge the two pieces together to make them one. So now I'll drag this in here. I'm going to make it the size I want. And as you can see, all the points are, are pretty pointy, and I want to have a little rounded effect. So I'm going to go Effects, and then I'm going to go Distort, no, uh, Stylize, Round Corners. And I think 10 might be too much, but we'll hit Preview and see. Yeah, 10 is too much. So I'm going to try with 4 and hit Preview again, and hit OK. That should be pretty good. Now, once you do that, you can see that it's rounded, but yet the points are off so we're gonna go object flatten transparency make sure it's a hundred percent and hit OK and that way it'll draw vector lines around all the circular edges and then what we're gonna do is we're going to make this a white arrow so I hit white again and again rather than stroke it with black I'm going to hit command C command F and that'll copy and paste one right on top and I'm gonna hit black again and I'm going to choose outline black and again I'm going to go object arrange send backwards and I think we used a stroke of 8 for the outside so we'll do the same again this time and then I'm going to go object again flatten transparency and hit OK and we're almost done I'm just going to finish it off with the pen tool here and I'm going to go here and um, let's see what I want to do. I'm going to select one of the paths and I'm going to go down like this. And then maybe up to here, to this path. And then I'm just going to follow this path here. Try to draw as close as I can. Get rid of some of the handles. go up to the finish line and then what we'll do is we're gonna change this to an off colored white so you know somewhere around here and voila and that's pretty much all you need to know to make a cartoony type um, button in uh, Adobe Illustrator